Hi, Hayden here from FowlsOnFantasy.com and today we're going to be looking at creating shadeless materials in Cycles. For those of you who don't know, shadeless materials are a type of material in the Blender Render or the Blender Internal Render Engine, which essentially means that the material is not affected by lighting at all and displays the image or the texture on it as if it was shadeless. I'm just going to set up a really quick example scene to showcase what I mean by that. So when combining a shadeless material with the option of uh, to cast no shadows, it can create a really great and useful material, especially if you're masking something or you just want to show that image. Here I'm going to turn off the cast option in the shadows drop down menu. So I just go down to the shadow and turn off cast. And now when I render it, it won't cast anything and it will not be affected by any shadow. So for all intents and purposes, a true shadeless material. Now in cycles, on the other hand, this is a bit more difficult to achieve. Let me just quickly get a nodes editor up. To create a shadeless material in cycles, it's going to require a few nodes. So first off, we're going to get an emission shader and plug that into the surface and then get our texture that we want to use on our shadeless material. So we get our image texture and then we plug that into color. Now, as you can see, we've got a few problems. Firstly, the transparency on the image is not being taken into account. And next, there's a shadow being cast and the emission shader is actually emitting light onto the surface. So these are a couple of problems that we have to fix. Next, create a transparent BD BSDF shader and just knock down the transparency to zero. And then put a mix shader out in front of the emissions, plug in the transparent to the top node and then plug the alpha into the factor. And there, as you can see, we have knocked out the alpha channel of our material. Now to fix this lighting that's happening on the floor, we're going to add another mix shader out in front of the previous one that we just made. And then we're going to add a light path node. Make sure that the mix shader connecting is connected to the second socket, not the first. And then we're going to put in is camera ray into the factor. As you can see, we've gotten rid of that bounce light from the surface of the plane. So the material is no longer emitting its emission value. So here it is before we plug that in and here it is after. So there is no emission being emitted, even though it is an emission shader. Now to get rid of the shadow being cast, we want to duplicate the mix shader. So we're going to have three mix shaders. Now we can create a new transparent node, but I'm just going to reuse the one that I've already created. So I'm just going to drag that down here, just organize my nodes a bit. And then I'm going to plug in that transparent shader into the bottom socket. And then we're going to grab is ray shadow or no is shadow ray into the factor. And then as you can see, we have now created a shadeless material in the cycles render engine. It is not affected by any lighting. It doesn't cast any shadows and it is a great material for masking or just showing off pictures or textures. Let me make the nodes just a bit more visible so you got a nice reference to go off. So there we go. That is the node setup. You can pause the video here if you wish to copy them. So here's the final material rendered in cycles. And here it is in the Blender internal render engine. As you can see, there is very little difference except in the quality of the lighting. So there we go. That's how we create shadeless materials in the Cycles render engine. I hope this has been really informative to you. If it has, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much. This is Hayden Falzon, signing off.